David Einhorn's Greenlight Capital announcing new positions in its second quarter investor led letter. <laughs> Leslie Pickers here following the money on that story. Leslie, what'd you find? Hey, Melissa. So you're right. David Einhorn's Greenlight Capital adding new positions in Chamours as well as Dillard's and Scientific Games Corporation. This is according to Einhorn's second quarter letter obtained by CNBC. The firm also took a macro position against U.S. corporate credit, both high yield and investment grade. Einhorn says that there are, quote, signs the economy may be slowing and believes that rating agencies have been, quote, complacent. Einhorn began his letter with a short case study of Chewy relative to Pets.com, saying, for those that think the 2000 bubble was the big kahuna, consider Chewy, which went public in June 2019. He did stop short, though, of saying whether he was betting against Chewy and noted that Chewy's market value is more than 30 times Pets.com's at the peak. And he implied he believes that multiple is quite high. He reiterated his bullish case for Bright House Financial and Bearish One for Assured Guarantee. The firm sold out of BT Group and covered a short in a company called Maui, a Norwegian salmon farmer, at a loss. Among the biggest winners, though, Einhorn's Tesla short and longs in gold and GM. Overall, the fund returned 5.8 percent in the quarter and is up 17.4 percent in the year through June, Melissa. A couple of positions caught my eye. Mm -hmm. uh, Chamours is an interesting one. It's certainly been being down, and it's caught up in this, uh, this whether it's exposed to these forever chemicals and the yes. lawsuit there. It was a spinoff from DuPont, and so the question is, how much did DuPont actually know when they were spinning off Chamours mm -hmm. about the liability there? There are a lot of claims mm -hmm. against this company. We heard at the Sone conference back in May, uh, Larry Robbins actually took the opposite side of this trade and was betting against Chamours right. for that reason. And Einhorn in his letter says he believes the liabilities associated with some of the class action lawsuits of those chemicals um, will be in the millions as opposed to the billions, which is what the bears have been really betting against. What are you seeing on a Chamours? Or this whole idea, because Chamours is really, it's, it's in this sort of class of stocks where they have this huge headline risk. You don't really know how to handicap it necessarily, and you've certainly got people who are betting against and people who are betting for. Yeah, it can't keep lit. We look at Arconic, you know, in, uh, mm -hmm. in the U.K., where mm -hmm. everybody's betting against it. But here's what will happen. Even if it's in the billions, <clears throat> they'll announce it's in the billions, stock will trade down, they'll do an offering, then it's off to the races. So... You know, those things just don't matter that much. They're events. They take years to settle. Uh, in, term, uh, in terms of his bet against uh, uh, institutional, you know, corporate mm -hmm. credit, he's made a fortune on the complacency of the rating agencies. Right. So he's going at it again. So I don't even know if he needs complacency to get there. But uh, because you're at historical lows. So to me, it's just right. a waiting game when they go. He could be waiting a long time, however, because default rates, right, just... They're not there yet. Yeah. You know, they haven't picked up. Well, he waited um, a long time for Tesla. That's, that's that true. That seems to be finally paying off That's true. Um, we should note this is uh, second quarter, as of mm -hmm. the second quarter, so all these things happen in the second quarter. Dillard's, last week we were just noting on Fast Money, there's really unusual activity in Dillard's. If you pull up the chart 10 days or so, you can see um, just last week or two weeks ago, mm -hmm. we had a huge spike on very heavy volume in Dillard's. So you got to wonder, I don't know, just it's, it's odd. It's worth checking out.